So you are tracking your ovulation using apps, right? But what if I told you your own discharge? Yes, your cervical mucus is the most powerful fertility clue. This is the one thing that can tell you whether your hormones are balanced, whether your ovulation is approaching and also the best days to try for a baby. So let's understand it together in this video. Hi everyone, I am Dr. Zainab Tajir, a homeopathy consultant and a hormone and fertility specialist. Now, every single day in my practice, I come across women who get various tests done, but they don't really know how to listen to their own body. Your cervical mucus is one of the most accurate signs to predict ovulation and to understand your hormones if you know how to interpret it correctly. But your cervical mucus literally changes every single day throughout your cycle. And each type is almost like a secret message from your body. So let's break it down. So let's talk about the different types of cervical mucus. Now, there are four main types of cervical mucus and each one reflects what your hormones are doing at that stage. The first one is a dry or no mucus situation and this is something we usually observe just after your period is over. So your hormones are the lowest at this point and this mucus is obviously not fertile. The second is sticky or tacky, almost like a glue kind of discharge. Now this is white and clumpy and it indicates low estrogen, which is still not a fertile cervical mucus. Now when you start approaching ovulation, in that transitional phase, you start observing a more cream-like discharge, almost like a moisturizer. This indicates that your estrogen levels are rising and you are approaching ovulation. During ovulation, you have a very typical egg white cervical mucus. This is clear, it is stretchy between your fingers and this is the sign that you are at the peak of your fertile days. You are going to ovulate in the next one to two days and this is the time you need to start trying for a conception. Then it is a watery discharge. It is less stretchy but it is still slippery and this is also fertile and even during this discharge your sperms can still swim up to the uterus. And lastly, after ovulation, you start observing dryness again, which indicates that now your progesterone levels have risen. And again, dryness is an indication that you are not within a fertile period. You might ask me, why does this even matter? So your cervical mucus is not just a sign of ovulation, but the right type of cervical mucus also helps your sperms swim up to your egg. And if the cervical mucus is not fertile, your sperms cannot survive within your body. Only with the right type of cervical mucus, the sperms can survive in the body up to five days. So having cervical mucus or tracking it is not optional. It is essential when you are trying to conceive. So how do we track this? Okay. So whenever you use the washroom, you need to wipe either with a toilet paper or with your hands and try and feel the discharge in between your fingers. I want you to feel the texture and you need to check daily, especially after your period is over, until you have confirmed ovulation. Look for changes. Is it sticky? It is creamy? It is egg white or it is more dry? And you need to track. So write down every single day what kind of discharge you are observing. And especially on days that you see the egg white cervical mucus, that's your green flag. That means you need to time your intercourse within your 28, within your 24 to 48, 48 hour window. Also in cases where we personally feel like the cervical mucus is not fertile, we run a test called PCT or postcoital test, which helps us understand if the cervical mucus is fertile enough to help the sperms survive within them. So that's also something that you can consider. And I want you to know that most women 
miss their fertile window because they are mainly relying on apps or only ovulation strips, but they are not really tracking their fertile cervical mucus. This sign, it is free and it is always accurate if you know how to read it. So if you need further help, I also have a free fertility toolkit in the description below, which includes a cervical mucus tracker. It will help you understand the signs of ovulation and it will give you further insights about your fertile window. So definitely download it. And if you also personally feel like your hormones are imbalanced or you are unable to understand your ovulation or read your cervical mucus, I would love to help you and be a part of this meaningful chapter in your life. So you can also book a consultation with me. I will leave the link for the same in the description below. And if you have any questions, you can always leave them in the comments below. I will definitely try and address them and I will see you again next week.